Uh, I met this woman um, a few months ago and was deeply impressed, not, not only with her, but uh, I just had no idea the work that this company does. And I wanted, uh, as with uh, Hadi Portovi, wanted to go out on some positive, uplifting sensibilities. So please join me in welcoming the Senior Vice President of Diversity and the head of the Prudential Foundation, Lada Reddy. <laughs> Welcome. Thank you, John. Thank you, John. It's great to be here. So I'm going to talk about how it is that a legacy company makes the shift to this new vision of capitalism that we've been talking about. And for us at Prudential, the new vision is really rooted in the past and in the belief that uh, everybody should have the opportunity to be financially secure. So our story began over 140 years ago when our founder, John Dryden, had a radical idea. He wanted to offer life insurance to working families. And that went against the common business wisdom at that time because the prevailing belief was that working families could not afford to pay premiums and worse, couldn't be trusted to pay premiums. So why would you engage in a market where you weren't likely to make a profit? Well, he saw in that market hardworking families who were faced with desperate choices. When they lost a child or a partner or another loved one, they didn't have the financial means to bury them. So it was a choice between a pauper's grave and the indignity of that or going broke. So he decided to change that, and he created an insurance product that was affordable, specifically burial insurance, which he sold for as little as three cents a week. And in that one act, he created right, an inclusive market that allowed working families to have the same opportunity to achieve financial security as everybody else. So in essence, Prudential was a disruptor, right? Back in the day, they disrupted the insurance model as it existed then and did so in a way that unlocked both commercial benefits and societal benefits. And so this quote here uh, is something that our founders said soon after the company was founded. The justification of the company's existence is the advancement of the efforts of its policyholders and their families for better economic and social condition. Prudential was founded on that single idea. And you'll all recognize that idea, right? It's the original charter of business. The business should be in the business of more than just generating profits, it should drive progress. And so over the 140 years plus that we've been in existence, we've tried to adhere to that, right, and to that belief that everybody should have the opportunity to achieve financial security. Now, while the why of it hasn't changed, right, our purpose and our North Star, our mission have remained the same, but the what and the how have. And that's because in this era where we're seeing the disruptions that we're seeing across industries and the changes in labor markets and financial markets, we're seeing risk being transferred from institutions to, the fragile, to fragile household balance sheets. And that requires companies like ours to go to market in very different ways, ways that are more holistic, that account for the needs of a broader swath of the population. And so what that also means is that things like corporate social responsibility are no longer things that can be done off to the side. Right? It's gotta be, it can't be about how we spend the money we make. Fundamentally, it has to be about how we make our money. And so to operationalize that at Prudential, we take an inside out and an outside in perspective. And so what that means is we take the expertise that we have within our company and across our core capabilities across our business model and take that outside into the world to address major issues, right? And then we bring outside expertise and perspectives into the four walls to help inform the decisions that we're making. So I wanted to give just a few examples of how we bring that to life. The first is uh, in our hometown city of Newark, New Jersey. Prudential was founded in Newark in 1875, and we have proudly remained headquartered there ever since. We stayed through good times and through bad and when others left. And when we stayed, we made the affirmative decision to invest in both people and place. And we do that in partnership with a whole set of actors across sectors. And one example is some work we're doing to lead uh, a coalition of our fellow anchor institutions. And so we've expanded that definition of anchors, by the way, beyond the classic eds and meds, to include other institutions like corporations who have a proven commitment to the community and, and deep roots in the community. So we've gathered our colleagues to uh, enact a three-prong strategy, and that is buy local, hire local, and live local. So buy local refers to us diverting some of our procurement dollars to businesses in Newark and procuring goods and services from them and pumping millions and millions, if not billions of dollars into the local economy, which will create jobs and all the attendant things that, right, that goes, goes along with that. 
The higher local is how do we prepare Newark residents for the jobs of today and the jobs of the future, and how do we create pathways of opportunity to the large employers that are in town. And then Live Local is a program to incent our own employees to live in the community and thereby invest their own resources in the community and hopefully create a bit of a flywheel. So another example uh, is an outside-in perspective, and that is a platform that we've created within Prudential that we call Inclusive Markets. And that allows us to bring our partners from the outside world who are experts right, and have deep insights into consumer needs to allow them to engage with our business leaders to brainstorm, right, to think about opportunities to partner in ways that Prudential can expand its addressable market in ways that simultaneously create societal benefits. So one example of an outcome of that work uh, is work that our individual life insurance business is doing with Mission Asset Fund, which is a nonprofit here in the Bay Area. And Mission Asset Fund works with immigrant communities and the Latino community to help build wealth, in essence. And they do that through a number of initiatives. One is through lending circles. So I'm sure you're all familiar, right? Small groups of people who come together to informally save and to borrow. And Mission Asset Fund helps these member, the members of these lending circles to build credit at the same time. So they're engaging with our insurance business to think about or better understand right, the financial needs and the unmet financial needs of the participants of these lending circles. Once we have that information, we can then identify opportunities to manufacture products or create services right, that meet those unmet needs. So early days, but again, potentially really interesting and promising uh, results that could come from that. And then the third example, and my final example, is uh, both an inside out and outside in. Um, and that is a partnership that we created with Prudential's real estate investment business called PGM Real Estate and Youth Build International, which is a global NGO that works with Opportunity Youth. If you're not familiar with that term, Opportunity Youth are young people between the ages of 16 and 24 who are not formally employed and not in school. And Youth Build works with them to train them in a variety of trades, primarily the construction trades. Prudential has been grant funding Youth Build for over 20 years and helped them open chapters in various parts of the world. We're obviously really pleased with the results because we kept right, supporting them. But we also recognize that there's an opportunity to really boost the impact that they were having with their graduates in helping them to land a, a quality job. And so we turned to our real estate investment business who have uh, partnerships with the largest developers and contractors in the world, right? We're a development-based business in many countries. We're actually building major assets. And so therefore, we have this partnership network. And our partners, who are uh, values aligned partners, I'm happy to say, raised their hands pretty quickly. And we have been able to place uh, 20 youth build graduates in you know, these construction sites with these partners. Now, admittedly, it's a small number, but it's early days. And given the number of partners we have and the needs that they have, we think there is some ability to take this to scale. And so I wanted to show you a brief video that highlights this partnership. I want you to think about all the hard work it's going to take and give it all you got. You failed. Yes, sir. You failed. Yes, sir. When I put my mind to it. When I put my mind to it. In a serious force. In a serious force. I didn't fit in the high school at all. I was expelled from school. I was rebellious, really angry. If it wasn't for youth build, I would have either been dead or in a county jail. The primary thing we look for in young people when they apply to youth build is have they had a conversation with themselves that they're ready to start to make changes in their lives? Youth Build teaches the core academic skills. They go through all the regular classes, their math, science, social studies, English. We also do a construction program. And within the construction, there's leadership lessons embedded in there. They're really wanting to make something out of themselves and step into any office, any construction work, and make an impact. Pregúntame, where are you from? Where are you from? It's a big satisfaction for them when they finish. They say, this is the first diploma I have got in my life. Prudential saw an opportunity to deepen our partnership with Youth Build by bringing them together with Pigeon Real Estate and leveraging relationships that they have with some of the largest developers around the world. Social programs like this are not incompatible with having a benefit to the business overall. We felt that connecting the graduates from the program with some of our real estate investment and construction activities would make a lot of sense. 
We are living in an era when people want to work for, do business with, and invest in companies that have a sense of purpose. For the communities that we work with, we have to give back. We, beyond just making pure investments, we have to be responsible for the success and the well-being of the stakeholders in the community. We are giving them the second chance, but I think that it's also a second chance for us as a society that they can have a better life. Every day it's gonna get better, because when you graduate, it's gonna be the most amazing feeling of your life. I started being more committed. I realized I can have a second chance. I'm excited about my future. I could go to college. I went from negative to positive, from no one to someone. World, World. look out. Look out. You got me yesterday. You got me yesterday. But this is a new tomorrow. So it's hard not to be inspired by, uh, by these young people, and we are so committed to, uh, to the work that Youth Build is doing. But we know all of this, right, takes time, uh, and it takes patience, and it takes patient capital. But playing the long game is what we're built for, uh, so we're lucky in that regard. And you know, our company is in the, make, the business of making and keeping long-dated promises, and we do that all day long, and these are promises that last over decades and even lifetimes. And these promises are rooted in opportunity, right? The promise of opportunity, the promise that our customers can become financially secure and that the generations that come after them can prosper. And that's the social compact that we were founded on that we try to adhere to today. But I suppose most importantly, right, we understand that it's only by adhering to that compact that we will be able to generate the long-term value that we're trying to, right, that we're seeking for all of our stakeholders and to enable us to be an ongoing, sustainable, and viable business. And so back to the future we go. Thank you.